This video will help you learn how to clean and maintain your Hilti DX9 HSN and DX9 ENP stand-up decking tool. To tell when the tool requires its next cleaning, have a look at the service indicator. Each block indicates 1,000 fastenings, and after 8,000 fastenings, the large brush icon will appear, indicating it is time to clean the tool. During heavy usage, it may be a good idea to clean the tool daily. Each DX9 should have a cleaning kit included in the case. If you're missing the kit, please contact Hilti to order a new one. Make sure that the tool is not hot before you begin. The temperature indicator should point all the way to the left, showing that it is safe to disassemble the tool. First, let's unload the cartridges and fasteners. When you remove the cartridge strip, check it for gouged plastic, as well as crushed, deformed, or skipped cartridges. If you notice any of these conditions, please contact Hilti for service. Next, turn the tool over onto a flat surface, allowing it to rest on the handle. The handle features protection so that the service indicator does not get damaged while in this position. Press the red button on the magazine guide to let the nails fall free. Remaining nails can be pushed backwards using the scraper. To unload the ENP tool, lift the small lever at the side of the nail magazine. Use the scraper to push fasteners out of the nail magazine. To remove the nail magazine, press the red magazine release button. Now, rotate the base plate assembly counterclockwise and remove it from the tool. Set it aside for now. Next, remove the piston. To remove the piston, push back the pawl lever, grab the piston, and pull it straight out. With the pawl still depressed, remove the piston guide assembly. The tool is now disassembled. Let's begin cleaning. With the tool body on the floor, take the wooden bristle brush and clean out the inside. Then. Rotate the tool over to dump out any remaining carbon buildup. Also, use the smaller brushes to clean out the cartridge entry and exit. Carbon will build up in these areas over time. Avoid inserting the brush into the tool to prevent damage. The piston and brake or stop need to be inspected, cleaned, and replaced regularly. Factors such as missing the joist or beam, cartridge selection, and cleaning frequency can drastically reduce piston life. The piston and brake for the DX9 HSN is smaller. If the rubber on the brake is worn, or if there is excessive wear on the piston, or chips at the end, replace it with a new piston and brake assembly. Check for the same kind of wear on ENP pistons. The brake should slip freely over the piston and not stick or be attached to the top collar. If any of these conditions exist, replace the piston and brake or stop at the same time. Operating the tool without the brake or stop can cause excessive damage to the tool, resulting in costly repairs. If the piston and piston brake or stop assembly are in good condition, clean them off with the wire brush. Next, clean all areas of the piston guide assembly except for the slider. It has a protective coating on it designed to help reduce friction and wear on the internal parts of the tool. Using the dry brush, clean built-up residue from the piston guide assembly. Slide back the bearing sleeve to brush away residue. Use the large round brush to clean out the inside and the small round brush to clean the cartridge seat. Now, let's visually inspect the nail magazine for any wear, damage, or debris. During inspection, use the scraper to cycle the nail detection mechanism to make sure the parts move freely. If it does not function, this can cause fastening issues. Simply attach a spare nail magazine to continue working and send the damaged unit to Hilti for service. Continue using the small brush or scraper to clear any debris that you see inside the nail magazine. Using the small can of lubricant, spray here and here to ensure proper functioning of the components. The tool is ready to reassemble. The first step is to insert the piston guide assembly into the tool. Line up the slot in the assembly with the pawl lever. Pull back the pawl and insert the piston guide assembly into the tool. With the pawl still depressed, place the piston inside and release the pawl. Insert the brake into the nail magazine and then place it on the tool. Turn it clockwise until it comes to a stop. Then rotate backward. Lift the magazine guide so that it seats back in the nail magazine. 
turn the tool back over and press the reset button on the service indicator. Now your tool is inspected, cleaned, and ready for work. We're here to help. Visit our website or call our customer service teams if you need more assistance with maintaining your DX9 stand-up decking tool.